I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the back end of my Chambers Pinterest account. While Pinterest is a lower priority for us, I don't like to spend a lot of staff time on it, but I do like being able to use it to send people to either to our website or just to enjoy our city. Um, and one of the things I like about Pinterest is not only is it a visual search, but it's also good in that people save stuff and they'll come back to it, which is not something that happens a lot of time on other social media sites. This is what the analytics looks in the back end, and I've set it to 90 days just to kind of boost some of these numbers and to give me more different pins to look at. Um, but these are all ones that goes to the Chamber website. Um, and I can switch over to impressions, which will give me bigger numbers, but honestly, that doesn't mean very much. Um, it's nice to see, but really, I prefer to look at link clicks and the number change hurts me a bit on the inside as they're much, much lower. Um, but again, it means something. It means 10 real people actually clicked through and went to the Chamber website. Um, impressions can be nice because I'm like, oh, maybe 2,000 people are learning about the Chamber. Um, but how much are they really getting off of that picture? Um, so that's why I prefer to look at link clicks. And um, a lot of these are, so that's a blog post. This is actually just an event, um, but it clicks through to um, the event calendar on the Chamber website. And that's a really easy way to increase um, website traffic is to actually just share pictures and link to it on the Chamber site on Pinterest. And again, this is not <laughs> this is not anything crazy and it's not going to make a huge spike, but collectively, this is a little bit more traffic that we would have gotten otherwise. And just to kind of show you what my what I mean is I'm in Google Analytics um, and I'm using my custom social media dashboard, which I've included a link below that you can copy it. Um, so obviously Facebook is our top performing social media network um, and that's not a surprise um, at all. Um, but what is interesting is that Pinterest is actually second for us. Um, and again, while there's a huge difference in the numbers, interesting that Pinterest performs better than Twitter or LinkedIn for us. Um, and so these numbers are, um, for, again, for the Chamber website. So this is people that are clicking through from social media and coming over to the Chamber website. And a lot of my posts on these platforms are pretty similar just because I use SmarterQ to push out the same content to different social media networks to save staff time. Um, it, it does save me time, but that doesn't mean it's performing well, obviously. Um, so if I wanted to, I would need to spend time to actually create content specifically for LinkedIn. Um, but I just, I know my community and there's not a lot of local people um, that spend a lot of time on it, so I don't worry about it. But anyways, for the what I consider limited amount of staff time spent on these others, I think it's just very interesting that Pinterest is ranking second in that, again, this is going to boost my Chambers website, which is what I want because I want people to come to us to learn about our area. Um, so in addition to the blog posts that I post, um, sometimes I'll take, like I said, um, this is a really top popular event. So whatever your big events are, um, I shared that. Um, and then here's one that's just a chamber member. So this is just a photo I took um, while we were at a networking event and I just posted it, didn't even say anything about it. It just links over to their directory listing and this is just the little um, paragraph that I copied from their about section. So to give you an idea of some things that you can post on Pinterest to drive traffic to your website, um, I'm going to show you a few of my posts and talk just very briefly about them just to get your ideas flowing. Um, and then I'll show you one way that I like to customize some of them. Um, so all of the tall ones that have words are probably ones that I've customized to be um, formatted well for Pinterest, but it is surprising to see some other ones that perform well. For Pinterest, this is a... Um, cover of one of my blog posts. So sizing wise, a horizontal shouldn't be performing as 
better um, than a tall one, but it is. And it's probably due to the content as um, people are probably more likely to be looking for group activities than some of these other ones. This one is just a screenshot from our printed newsletter, um, which has a surprising amount of views even though it hasn't gotten any website clicks, which is what this means. Here's one that I, I created just to promote the local social media accounts of our local government. Um, I do also sparingly like to promote chamber membership, um, but I also realize that most of my Pinterest audience are not local businesses, so I don't spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, but this is a pin I created that goes with an article that Frank Kenny wrote. Um, which has actually gotten quite a lot of views. Um, and while it's only one save and one click through, if you're looking at my other numbers, it's still performing better. This is one that I pulled from a Chamber Members Facebook page, um, who's a fairly popular chef in the area. Um, and it actually goes to a YouTube video that is actually on the Chamber's account um, that we recorded a video ad with them. So even though it's not going to the Chamber website, it's still promoting us. Um, and we did get at least one click through on that. So as you may have noticed, a lot of my numbers are actually pretty low, um, but I wanted to be really clear with you. Um, but there are probably a few reasons for this that I know I could work on. And one is just true effort. Um, and you know, if you were actually trying to do a good job on Pinterest and really optimize everything to perform well, that will greatly increase your numbers. Um, but like I mentioned, a lot of mine are automated. Um, so every time I create a new blog post like this one, this was actually automatically posted on Pinterest. I didn't have to do anything other than set it up one time and tell my WordPress account, say, hey, every time I publish a blog post, um, go ahead and pin this. And it goes, okay. And then a lot of my square ones are also um, automatically pushed through from Instagram. Um, so again, I'm not spending a lot of staff time, so it kind of gives me more content and fills up my board, but at the same time, I haven't optimized it to perform well. Um, so a lot of these numbers are gonna be pretty biased based on how many people are following, not just my account, but because on Pinterest, you can follow specific boards. So naming your boards is actually pretty important as well. So the more people that follow, say, this board, well, all the pins in this board might do better than, say, the next board because more people are following them. So more people are going to see that in their newsfeed. So one way to optimize some of your content to do a little bit better on Pinterest is, one, to create a pin image that uh, meets their specifications is to create a pin image by the recommended sizes. And while that changes pretty often, generally you can um, bet on something that is tall because when you're in Pinterest feed, everything that's longer tends to stand out just a little bit more. Um, but also looking at your colors, adding text, that way when you're in your busy feed like this, something that has bigger text kind of like this one is gonna stand out a little bit more than something that was really wordy in the same size or just really awesome photos. So you wanna make sure that you're creating something eye-catching. Um, and people have also recommended warmer colors like red and orange and yellow. Um, so here's an example of where I did that, where this was a picture um, from a chamber member's Facebook page. Um, and I do recommend getting permission from them before you start using their photos, even though it's to promote them, you just wanna make sure. And all I did was add big text um, and I just put the business's name. Um, and I went ahead and put the city too, just cause again, I'm trying to promote my city. Um, so that's probably going to hurt some of my numbers, but the click throughs that I do get are gonna be better qualified because it's gonna be people that actually know where Little River is are gonna be the ones clicking through. Um, and then I just honestly copied and pasted the paragraph from their about section on their directory listing on the Chamber website. And then I linked it again to the Chamber website. So even though we're promoting them, we're driving traffic to, to our site. So um, I'm gonna show you how I did this and I'm just gonna use a different business. I really like canva.com still. And that's C-A-N-V-A.com. And I'm still just using my free account. Um, so you can do the same. And they've actually pre-chosen sizes for lots of different things. So I'm actually just gonna type in Pinterest graphic. And these are actually all templates that I can start with. 
I am so I know that I personally am looking for um, one photo, maybe two with um, really one section of big text. So I like this one because it's a little bit different from what I've been doing. A fun fact just to start to maybe start out with is once you've chosen one and you're now in the editor, which is what this is, um, you could still choose a different template, but when you hover, it'll say free. And if it doesn't say free, then it's not free. Um, but it's actually really still affordable. A lot of these are only like a dollar. Then we're just gonna go to upload and you would upload a photo of your member business um, again, I've used a template, so I've just dragged and dropped my photo into where they had. And I know it looks a little bit different, but that's because for their template, they had an effect. But I can edit that. You're just going to go through the filter and put it back to none because I want these to actually be pretty normal. And I'm going to change the background color to match something a little bit closer to their logo. And I've um, selected their group of text. And I know it's a group because it's highlighted more than one thing. And also up here I can select ungroup. Um, so now I can click away and click back and then I can choose one at a time. I still like to put our location just because I'm trying to grow our hashtag. Instead of putting the name of the business, I actually want to put, um, which you can do and that's fine. Um, this time I want to try putting a service that they offer. Before I download it, I'm just going to do edit the file name to make it make more sense. So now I'm done. I'm happy with that, even though I've only spent about two minutes on it. Um, again, Pinterest lower priority, so I don't want to spend a lot of time. You can then do publish to Pinterest, but you will need to connect your account. Um, and I just I do lots of different things, so I personally don't like it. But um, so I'm going to do it the long way. And I'm going to use the download button and I can change it to a different file type, but I'm fine with the PNG. And then I'm going to go over to Pinterest and hit the plus, create a pin, add my picture. I'm going to go to our business directory and I'm going to make the business name my title. And I'm going to copy their about section and put that as the description. Again, I'm just trying to grow my hashtag a little bit too, so I'm going to include that. And then I'm going to copy the URL. Um, again, we're on the Chamber website, so we're promoting the business, but really we're also driving traffic to us, which is what I want. Um, and then I just pick the appropriate board. Um, and you can choose, you can also choose publish at a later date, but you can only go about two weeks out. Um, and if you're doing like several pins, I might do like a few a day and space them out so it's not like 20 at one time. Um, otherwise, I just go ahead and do publish now. So that's one way we can try to make it look a little more enticing. Um, and it also lets people know what they're going to click on. So if they're not interested in group fitness classes, they're not going to click it, which Sounds bad, but in a way it's kind of what we want because we want what I'm calling qualified leads. We want people that are actually interested in a group fitness class in Little River to do business with that chamber member. So I hope this was helpful, but as always, I do encourage constructive criticism. Um, and also feel free to leave a comment if you have any other questions. And I would love to know if you want to learn more about Pinterest or if your chamber is even interested in Pinterest at all. Um, until then, definitely subscribe and follow me on Pinterest, the Izzy West.